welcome back to a new vlog if you're new here my name is kiara don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel girl don't forget to subscribe so today september 1st it is my official restart of vlogging because you know the last vlog was just like a recap of what i've been doing for the past month that i was gone but now we're back in real time we're getting back into the swing of things missing my gum out hold on we're getting back into the swing of things you know pepe left i'm really sad but you know it's time for me to get back on my grind because i've been neglecting everything i've been neglecting tiktok i've been neglecting y'all i've been neglecting my music channel like it's time to get back on the grind so today we're gonna go to the grocery store um and i have to get my oil changed too now will i get my oil changed we shall see but do i need to absolutely so because you know i'm trying to be more um conscious of how i spend my money i made a grocery list i have made a grocery list in years i made it in my planner it is linked in the bio but um yeah i made a grocery list of some things that i want so i'm gonna take a picture of this But you know, we're going to Target, so y'all know how Target be. But that's why I made a grocery list, so I'm not just walking up and down the aisles, just picking up stuff as you do at Target. <laughs> and later on today, I'm gonna be going to my friend's house. I haven't seen her in maybe like two weeks, so I'm excited to see her hang out chat it up so yeah but right now we're gonna go to the grocery store so let's go get ready yet i'm having such a good hair day y'all such a good hair day when i tell you i have been going back and forth to relax my hair or not like Every time I get on TikTok, I see a black girl talking about, yep, I relaxed my hair. And I'm just like, because <sighs> I'm very easily influenced about some things. But yeah, I'm really fighting not to relax my hair. So I'm trying. But today came out really good. So it makes me not want to. Let's go to the grocery store. The way I keep coming back to this Target, the one that I quit, like I didn't just quit and never came back, is so funny to me. I just be walking in there with confidence all the time. Cause I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Focus on me, yeah. Baby, can you focus? 
By my fridge it looks so cute the top part look a little naked but that's all right because i'm gonna add um my green juice speaking of my green juices i bought a cheesecloth so that i don't have to use that strainer so i'm excited to make my green juice i got a few things in my little target buy that's that i'm excited about but We'll talk about the majority of them later. But, um, yeah. One thing I am excited for, two things I'm excited for, is this water bottle. Because when I worked at that Target, I saw this water bottle and I was like, ooh, I want that. But you know, I didn't have the funds to go get it at the time. So I picked it up today. It's sweat proof, BPA free, and vacuum insulated. I really just like because it's this big gray water bottle. It's very cute. And it's a, a half a gallon. So the goal is to drink two of these a day. Take it off later. And then I also got this bowl, which I'm gonna use for um, like a fruit bowl or when I'm doing my juices I can collect the juice in this bowl and then transfer it into my cute container that goes in the fridge so I'm excited y'all I love grocery shopping <laughs> so I'm about to put the rest of these groceries up um, and I'm gonna check in with y'all when I'm done Y'all know that tick. Uh-uh. Y'all know that TikTok sound is like, woo! Shit! <laughs> That's how hot it is out here. It's so hot in San Diego. Ain't it cookie? Ooh! So right now, me and Cookie are on our way to the park with uh, to go see Kazaya. Kazaya's sitting up her pole, so we're gonna just sit there and chill with Kazaya while she does that. I really should change something more comfortable because I got on these jeans. It's hot, girl. It is hot. Not you crooked. Oh my god, I'm swerving. I need to relax. The police be over here. We spend cash for it to take. That's more where that came from. That's all I'm saying. It's me and you, and we making arrangements. It's you and me, and we making arrangements. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so high in here, been smoking on this weed. Told them, go and take a shot on three. Told them, drinks, it's on me. I'm 
probably got the little even Moxie's in part, you can't get in unless you can touch them. And I was like, that's cute. Oh, I got. I was like, I could get you on the second floor. I was like, that's not good. Oh, yeah. This is our first time vlogging since Japan. Ah! This is our. No, because I made that vlog when I came to saw you in bags. We're good. I'm about to say, let me try right now. But it's still been a long time. It's my first time vlogging since we've been in Japan. Yeah, it's, it's been. That uh, the ice skater re no, it was the aquarium was the last one we made. It was. Those were my birthday festivities. Right now we're walking to Mist. Mitchum done drug me out the house. Yes, I have. We but, outside. But I mean, I can't be mad at him because when we lived in Japan, I was always dragging him out the house. Always. I used to beg him and my other friend. Uh, I could. Why you say on? Oh. I said ramen. Which one's scared? It's not five. It's not Mexican. They just stand on the island. Today is the 2nd of September. Hey girls, so it's a new day. Right now I'm in the parking lot for Skate World. Me, Kaziah, Sierra, and all the kids. We're gonna go skating, which I'm really excited because y'all know I've been practicing my skating. And this is the moment we've been working for, right here. For me to go in this skating rink and not embarrass myself. And I think I'm gonna do pretty good today. I think I'm gonna do really good too because I only really mess up when there's like cracks and bumps. Cause you know I skate outside normally. But this surface is gonna be smooth. So I should be I should be good. I really hope it's not packed. It's a Friday night. Like, is this what y'all doing with y'all Friday night? This is what everybody doing with their Friday night? Like, I hope it's not packed in here. But we'll see. But yeah, right now I'm just waiting in the parking lot until they get here. And um, I'll check in later.
girl welcome to a new day um right now we're getting ready to go to la we're gonna go up to la with sierra and her family we're gonna go to a water park i have been wanting to go to a water park for the longest time now so i'm so excited and i love sierra's family so this is gonna be a good time I definitely haven't been vlogging as much as I wanted to. Um, I've been doing a good job for me to get be getting back in the game, but as far as just being as consistent and vlogging as much as I want to, I haven't been doing that because I've been doing a lot of work on myself, girl. We've been doing a lot of uh, internal work over here. So something that I noticed with myself is that when I'm in a relationship with somebody or if I'm dating somebody and once I start to like them, this is when it really gets triggered when I start to like them, is that like if I'm not getting constant like reassurance, if they're not texting me all the time, like my mind starts to wonder, I start to get anxious, I start to get bad thoughts. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no way this is normal. And it's not. And I've done some research and it's called um, an anxious attachment style. But yeah, it's called an anxious attachment style. Because like, the men will have done nothing to show me signs that I should be, you know, nervous or anxious when they're not talking to me. But I'd be like, at any like change in behavior like if they don't use an emoji this time or if they take a little bit longer to respond to me this time my mind's like oh my god we finna break up like <laughs> he don't like me no more when reality i do the same thing and it doesn't mean that i don't like that person anymore it's just i didn't feel like putting an emoji I was busy and I couldn't respond right away, you know? But in the moment, my brain will be thinking logically. It'd be like, he hates you. <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> and I've noticed that this is like a pattern with me in relationships. And I don't like that. I don't like that about myself. So I've been doing a lot of research on like what forms an anxious attachment style and of course it goes back to our childhoods just like everything does and it's pretty much like when um when your parent or your caregiver didn't give you the emotional support that you needed as a kid or like it was very inconsistent or unpredictable and I was like yep <laughs> sounds about right should I do this little booty bun? That look ugly. Don't that bun look nasty? It's so small. Little booty bun. Anyway. But yeah, so once I self-diagnosed myself, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research on it and I've been like trying to work on that with myself. I've also been journaling. Something I've never done before. Well, I have journaled before in the past, but it didn't last very long. But I was on TikTok and this girl was talking about scribble journaling. And at first I saw it and it's pretty much the girl just in a journal and you just see a whole bunch of scribbles. And I was like, girl, you ain't doing nothing. But she kind of broke it down and she was pretty much saying like our mind moves faster than our hands can so it can slow down our train of thought so when she said that i said okay that that kind of makes sense so i tried it and when i tried it i actually really like it now no i'm not able to go back and reread what i wrote but at the same time that's kind of okay because i'm not trying to keep a diary my whole point of journaling is to just get it out. 
to help me process through my emotions and how I feel, pretty much to talk to myself. So the fact that I can't go back and read it is okay. But if somebody opened up my journal and saw all them scribbles, I'm pretty sure they would think I was crazy. <laughs> Something's wrong with her. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all because I know for sure there are a lot of women who feel that way in relationships. Probably men too. But I was like, I want to share this with y'all and I put this out there in case you're feeling this way and you don't quite know what to call it. Because when I was watching these videos and people talking about it, like they was really calling me out. Like they were saying everything that I'd be going through. And I was like, how you been watching me? How you know that? Because I do that all the time. But my camera's about to die. I'm about to finish getting ready and then I'll check in with y'all in a minute. Lifted all my days, my dreams are vivid colors. The jet is low, they made me take it trips, we fly by. No stresses on my brain, no worries here, I'm chosen. Made another way, my nigga, watch me go shine. When I close my eyes, my world comes alive. Ages, 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 ages,